Today, we're going over how to use reference markers. Reference markers are a great tool to be used in lieu of having an onboard camera. So if you have a Pro Machine or a Muse Core, these are great for lining up designs on oddly shaped material. To get started, you'll first need to open RE3 and change your laser's positioning mode to Absolute. This will ensure the position of your reference markers coincide with your machine's bed. Go ahead and save changes, and now we can begin. For this example, we'll be using this organically shaped pick guard from this guitar. Now if we wanted to add a design to this odd shape, there are multiple ways of doing it. We could take a ruler, micrometer, or even take a picture of the pick guard and recreate it in a design software, but that takes time. With reference markers, we can do all the setup we need within RE3 and in much less time. All we have to do is find a point on the material we want to reference, navigate on our touch screen to the reference marker screen, and set our first marker. You'll see the marker appear on both your touch screen and in RE3. This is what the reference marker screen looks like on our Pro Machines. If you're using a Muse, it'll look like this. For this project, maybe I want to map out all the screw holes so I can make my own pick guard. Once we have all the reference markers set, we can add vector circles to cut them out on whatever material we want. Maybe we want to add a design to engrave instead. We can use the reference markers to map the outline of the shape as well. Reference markers are just a really great tool to help you see where your material is on the bed if you don't have a camera. Give reference markers a try, and until next time, keep making.